Showing up to work a little late today, but I got something in. I got a project that I want to do. Okay, somebody's coming down the road here. What the heck? Who the heck? What is that? What was that? That looks like a uh, like a stone car or something. I wonder what, what it's powered by. The guy's feet or something? But anyway, I told the shop guys to have the lift open for me. I'm pulling in a 1965 Ford Mustang. I picked this up at an auction and I wanted to have some crazy stuff done to it. I always wanted a Mustang and we do some crazy stuff here at the shop. So we had some uh, pretty beefy ag tires in a suspension kit. We were going to put on a big diesel truck. That whole project fell through. So when I saw this Mustang, I had the uh, I had the idea. Let's put it on there. So I think I got to pull this forward just a bit and we'll get her up. All right. The guy's got it up in the air. I had to go the other way just because it was kind of weird uh, with the supports and stuff. So there it is. She's up in the air. I will, uh, I gotta make some phone calls, but the guy said they can get it done and we're actually going to put it in the paint booth. So hopefully by the end of today, the end of the work day, they'll have that done and I can drive it out of here. It's a pretty tall task for him. So the list of what we're going to do is whole new suspension kit. So this is going to be an off-road beast. That's pretty much what I'm making this into a Mustang, but a truck version, new tires, of course, new rims, of course, a few exhaust things, and then a whole new paint job and a few other interior stuff. So that's kind of the plan. I'm going to get in the office and get to work. But like I said, hopefully by the end of the day, I'm going to pay those guys a big bonus and then get it done today it's closing time it's about 5 30 let's see what those guys got done chelsea you can head out thanks for good good work today we sold we sold a few cars today which is pretty good usually we only sell one or two but we sold like three or four here she is oh my goodness this is this is sick okay these guys got it done a lot more than i asked but that's awesome we have, we have so many aftermarket parts laying around the shop that can get get thrown on this and i told them if they had time do it so here's the here's the dual exhaust system in the back holy cow look at the suspension i think these were uh new axles on here too just whole new suspension everything these are these are ag tires these were off like a small tractor we converted to like a street racing car which is pretty funny here's aftermarket bumper and then that's the air hood air intake on the on the front there which looks sick of course so much suspension stuff going on this is going to be an off-roading beast led light bar on the front that thing that thing's killer some some chrome step bars that oh this is awesome let's jump in fire up they did a few things in here to give a little touch on it like the the skull shift bar i don't know if they put nitrous in here i don't think they had time to then they did a whole new roll cage so they got a lot of work done and uh she's pretty loud she's pretty loud she's not crazy loud i thought she'd be a bit louder but there she is let's pull out let's get her in the sunlight and look at her oh yeah she sounds good at idle i love that crisp smell and uh it, it smells the exhaust smells good too it's got that that genuine smell so it looks like they offset the wheels quite a bit the one thing i was worried about was getting the tires not to rub and when i pulled out of there i didn't crank it all the way but they didn't rub just yet i'm sure i'm sure they will if you're going over rocks and you're turning and stuff but this is this is awesome let me know what you guys think if if we could have done something else the only thing we, i guess we could do is get like cooler rims but this is the these are the rims that came with with the uh with the tractor and the in the tractor ag tires on here so this is uh we're gonna let's go test her out let's go figure out a place that we can do let's see how bright the light bars are that's pretty sick oh there's one i didn't even notice that holy cow that's awesome all right let's head out let's see what she could do <laughs> now that we don't have and I, I was gonna put a tin on here but that, that that we had a too dark of a like illegal one the exhaust if i did get pulled over it'd probably be a little too uh, a little too loud for for the police standards but let's head out what i think i'm gonna do is head out we have an ohv park like a mountain uh place where you can kind of go in there's some decent trails and so i'll just kind of so it should be up here on the, the left. We have a little bit of a drive now. I'm not street legal. I don't have a, a license plate for this yet. I I, I think I am. I, I am street legal. I just don't know if some of the, the modifications we have might warrant a, a police officer coming behind us or anything. So here we go. Oh, no. Who's that behind me? Oh, that's a police officer behind me. That's not good. We've been going down the road for about 30 minutes now. And uh, we were almost we almost made it. Okay, let's... Uh, well, what am I going to do? I lost my license last week. I can't afford to get pulled over here. We'll, uh, here's what we'll do. Put our hazards on. All right. Hazards are on. I'll stay on this side of the road. He's right. Okay. He's right behind me. We'll just stay below 30 mile an hour. I'm going to get off at the next exit. Cause it's kind of dangerous to pull off on the interstate anyway. So let's get to the exit. All right, here we go. We'll pull off on the exit here. Much safer and uh, i kind of got the cop where i want him i'm a little closer to where i wanted to end up going all right here's the officer what is he gonna do here he comes he's coming behind us hello sir license registration please oh uh, yeah about that 
Well, I, I don't have either. I don't, I, sorry, it can. Uh, I can't hear I, you. I can't hear you. Tur turn off the engine. Yeah, I can't hear you either. I don't have Wait. license and registration. Okay, please step out of the vehicle then. Yeah, there's no door handle. No, no. You step out of the vehicle. I'm not playing games with you. No, really. There's no door handle. Uh, I can help you open if need be, but I need you to turn off the vehicle. Yeah, I can't hear you. Don't stop. Yep. Wait. Have a stop good one, moving. man. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the concerns. All right, there we go. Let's go. What we're going to do now is obviously can't beat them on the on the pavement. That's why I went up here more because this is where I was going to go off-roading or, or close to where I was going to go off-roading. And hey, let's see if he can keep up with me. So go nice and slow. I don't want to flip it. Don't want to wreck it. I think we'll be able to shoot up and out of here. Look at that. Climbing. Okay, he is in... Uh, I wish it was like a squad car instead of an SUV kind of thing. Let's see if he goes over here. He's laying on the horn. Oh, no. Okay, he made it up. He's like... Here, this is going to be quite a bit harder. This is a cliff right here. Let's go. Come on, Mustang. Let's go. All right. Okay, there is a way Stop he could make... Vehicle. Oh, he's yelling. He's yelling. He's on, the, he's on the microphone. He's right over there. Let's see if he makes it. Let's watch him. There he goes. That's pretty steep, dude. If, the, if, if that makes it, he's probably going to start running after me if it... I better pull it around here. Oh yeah, boys. This is why I got this Mustang because I can't always outrun the cops. Oh, he's making it pretty good. Let's keep moving. I want to head down this way. I just got to be careful. Watch out for trees. Don't want to wreck my new Mustang. So if he gets up that, it is pretty easy sailing from here. Let's see. Watch out for the trees. All right, big climb, big climb. Come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, is that a police helicopter? Okay, no, no, no. I don't think it's red. It, it actually might be a police helicopter. Uh, let's keep moving though. Let's stay in the trees. Maybe I guess a red Mustang is pretty noticeable from the air. All right, I think I think we lost him. We just gotta be uh, somehow get back into town. Is it this way? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, boys! We wrecked the Mustang. We wrecked the Mustang. Thank goodness I got a roll bar. My head still slammed the window. All right, let's get out. All right, shut her down. I don't want her blowing up or anything. That's not good. Sir, I know you're out here. Come out with your hands up. Oh oh. Guys, guys, Out he's with yelling. Your hands up. He's yelling. He's right above the cliff. You are surrounded. Come out with your hands up. All right, he's on the microphone, guys. I'm sneaking through these bushes. He probably thinks I'm still in the Mustang. I turned it off. All right, let's go. Let's run. Stay in the bushes. Here we go. Keep running. I at least got a, probably a minute on him if I could get through here. Here's what I'm thinking. When I came th running through here, there was like a few cars parked here. So if I could just rob one of those and then head out of here, just kind of nice and easy nobody notices me okay i think right up here is the parking lot or at least from the roadside i could see a few cars so if i can just kind of act normal actually i hear sirens coming down the road so let's stay in the bushes okay here we go here we go this is perfect yeah there's a cop going down that road i could see him right, here we go this is <laughs> this is the car that i saw of course it's so colorful okay it's like some hippie van thing hello is anybody in here okay okay they might have uh it looks like they're gone they let's see if they, are the keys in it Let's go, boys. The keys are in it. Start her up. All right. I shut the doors. This is our this is our getaway car. Oh, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let me get 20 bucks. Here we go. <laughs> Let's uh, do a piece of paper. Yeah. All right. There we go. I hit a nail on the tree. There's $20 on the tree for them when they come back. Hopefully, hopefully that means we're even. All right. Here we go. We just hit the blacktop and there goes the cop coming by. Oh, he doesn't notice anything. Let's just act normal. Act like we're just... You know, a, a hippie guy in a van just, you know, kind of cruising the streets looking for a place to hang out. But he must have figured out that I ran from there and that I wasn't in the Mustang because he, uh, he left. And there was, there was about three squad cars that came flying by for his backup. All right, I hear more sirens going too. Okay, let's let's just go here. We'll just hang out. What is this? Uh, okay, this is like a retirement, retirement home place. We'll just sit in the parking lot, hang out, act natural. See what they got in this van. But this van is classy. There we go. This is the perfect getaway car. All right, guys. Some time has passed. Let's fire up the van. I'm going to head back to uh, head back to the shop. I think the Mustang's done for. Oh, I probably won't be getting it back. But I think I escaped the cops. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash like button. That was crazy running from the cops. Doing all that stuff. If you haven't sub subscribed already, please do as well. And a uh, huge shout out to the, the hippie couple that left this van with the keys in it. Hopefully the 20 bucks uh, helps you out a little bit. But hey, this might be our new um, our new parts runner, our new shop car. This would uh, hold a lot of people and a lot of parts. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.